Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I know it's been a while since I've been here on YouTube, and today I thought I would film a chatty get ready with me, talking to you guys about where I've been and what's been going on. You guys know that I went on vacation like a couple of weeks ago, and then I've had a bunch of other stuff going on, so that's why I haven't posted a video. Um, so yeah, I'm just, this video might be a little longer because I have a lot of stuff to talk to you guys about. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump in. I've got like a fuzzball or something in my hair. So it's been a little while since I got out of the shower. I did moisturize my face with my Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer whenever I first got out of the shower. But that was a little while ago, so I'm gonna go ahead and just prime my face with my Fab First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer Priming Moisturizer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on. Whoop. And in this video, if I forget to like mention what a product is, I'll just put it like in the video because since I'm going to be talking to you guys a lot, I'm almost out of this stuff. I might like forget to mention things and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I went on vacation a couple weeks ago and I have um, some stories about that. But before I like get into the makeup portion of this, I wanted to just say thank you to one of my subscribers she sent me a couple of postcards in my p.o box if you didn't if you guys don't know i have a p.o box and i always leave it down in like my description box so if you guys want to send me postcards you can send me some postcards but it's my same su subscriber her name is joanne and i just want to thank you so much joanne for sending these postcards to me um, I had actually filmed a video where I mentioned this one, but my footage got deleted right before I went on vacation. So, yeah. Um, so I figured I'd go ahead and mention these now because she had sent this one to me after I got back from vacation. So thank you so much, Joanne, for sending me the postcards. It's very sweet of you. And I am doing really good. And I'm glad that you enjoyed my review, my first impression review that I did on um, that Sally Hansen airbrush face makeup. So, yeah, thank you so much. So for foundation, I'm just gonna go in with my Dior Skin Forever foundation. Since I went on vacation, I did get a little bit of sun, so I can actually use this right now. So I figure I'll go ahead and use it because probably here in a couple of weeks, my tan will fade. What little bit of a tan I have will fade and then I won't be able to use this stuff like through the winter because I'll be way too pale unless I use like some self tanner or something. Um, but yeah, so with my whole trip, the day before we left to go on vacation, we went to go rent the rental car. And actually, I had to go into work that day. I wasn't planning on working, but I had to go in and like work a half a day. So my morning was like already cut short. But after I got off from work, we went ahead to go up to the rental car place to get the rental car. And whenever we were filling out like the paperwork or the guy was filling out the paperwork for us and stuff, um, he took my license and he was looking at it and he was like, your license is expired. <laughs> and I had no idea that my license was expired because I don't know how it is like in your state, but here in Kentucky, they don't send you anything in the mail to let you know that your license is about to expire. So you just have to kind of be aware of it, but it had been expired for like a month and I had no clue. So, and I had to get on the rental car thing. And at that point it was already like 1.30 I think. And the DMV closes at 4.30. So I had to like try to, and I wasn't even prepared to get a license done that day. Like I hadn't, I didn't have any makeup on. I hadn't like washed my hair in several days and had a hat on. So like my hair was like all smashed down to my head. I had to try to like run home, take a shower real quick, get ready, head out to the DMV. And luckily that day it wasn't very busy, so it didn't take too long to get my license done. And then I had to try to go back to the rental car place and get myself added on as a driver. So that was kind of hectic, like right before the vacation. And I felt like I didn't really have enough time to get prepared to go on vacation. Um, because of all that, kind of like the kink and everything. But we had such a great time on vacation. And as you guys know, if you follow me um, on Instagram, I told you guys that I was going to Gulf Shores, Alabama. And I took a ton of photos while we were there. And I took a ton of snaps. So, well, my snaps obviously aren't up anymore. But if you want to see like my pictures and stuff, you can check out Instagram. And I'll just put here what my Instagram is and I'll link it down below. Um, if you have Instagram and you're not following me, you should follow me. 
Um, I'm trying to be a little better with like posting now that I'm back on vacation. It's just that like my normal life, I feel like I don't really do too many exciting things through the week because I'm working. So I don't post very much during the week, but I'm trying to post a little bit more since vacation. And then for my concealer, I don't see the one I wanted to use. I think I left it over at Josh's. I had bought the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer, but I think I left it at his place. So I'm just gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me on my under eyes here. And then I'll just use it on the center of my face to kind of like light my face up. But yeah, we had such a good time. We had really good weather while we were down there. Like it only rained a couple of times like at night. It didn't really rain during the daytime. We saw so many different animals. Like we saw dolphins every day like in the ocean. So that was really cool. And we saw like a ton of little crabs on the beach and in the ocean. It was just a really great like relaxing vacation. Like we had such a great time. We did so many things. I'm trying to think if there's like any other like interesting stories. Like we saw um, a shooting star like the first night we were there. We were sitting outside on our porch or like on our little balcony area and we saw a shooting star. So that was pretty cool. So yeah, we had a really good time and I did not <laughs> want to come back home. Um, and then like on the way back home, we were, you know, driving. It's like, I think it's like a 10 hour drive from there to like where I live here in Kentucky and on the way back like our drive was pretty good except for we went to get lunch and so we kept seeing like signs for Zaxby's so we were going to go to Zaxby's and um so I, d I was driving and I just told Josh to find like the next closest one <laughs> so we it was like the next exit or so so we got off on that exit and it was like kind of far off the exit like probably like three miles off the exit so we finally get to where it's at and it's not a Zaxby's anymore like it's some other restaurant and there was like not any other restaurants around and that restaurant wasn't open so then we had to like drive somewhere else so we were going to drive to Chick-fil-a and so that was like the next couple exits up I'm trying to find my powder here it is I'm just going to go in with my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. So yeah, we get to the next exit that had Chick-fil-A and whenever we got there, like that exit was so crowded, like there were so many cars all over the place. And so we get up to Chick-fil-A and it was so crowded. I don't know what was going on, if it was like some school function or something, but the whole restaurant was like crowded with people. Like if a fire marshal came, like they would have shut the place down. It was so crowded. Like there was lines out the door. There was like the line like to get through the drive through was insane. So I was like, yeah, we are not gonna wait to eat there or we would have been waiting for like an hour. So then we had to go to Wendy's. So it was kind of a hassle coming back home whenever we stopped, but it really wasn't that big of a deal. But yeah, we had such a great time and I'm glad to be back filming for you guys, but I've just had so much going on. I told you guys, I think it may be my last get ready with me. I can't really remember. I'm just going in with my NARS Laguna bronzer that here in a couple of months, I'm going to be moving into my brother's house because he got married and he's going to be moving to Canada because that's where his wife lives. And so I'm going to rent his house and I've been trying to like paint and everything. And that's where I've been like after I got back from vacation, I just have been painting in his house. Like, well, I worked obviously. And then like my days off, I've been trying to like paint every day in there because I've only got like two months before I move in and it'll be here like before I know it. So I'm just trying to like hurry up and get all that done before November gets here because I'm going to be moving in in November. So and then I'm just taking some of this bronzer and putting it down here. I'm just going to actually go in with my Real Techniques powder brush. But yeah, tonight Josh and I were going to go to Uptown Art and have like a little date night and paint. I'll have to insert the picture that we're going to paint. It's like I paint one side of it and he paints the other side. Like it's two separate pictures that fit together. It's like two fall trees. And I thought that would be a really cool thing for us to do. Like 
we go there maybe like a couple times a year and do a painting. I mean, I really like the tree paintings like for fall. I think they're really fun to paint. So we're gonna do that here in a little bit. Um, but now I'm just going in with my Milani baked blush in Luminoso. I've really been into this blush lately. I felt like whenever I was on vacation, I barely wore any makeup at all because basically we just went to the beach every single day and just relaxed and laid out. So it was just really nice. It was so hard to come back. And then like once I did come back, I got so depressed. I don't know, it was like postpartum vacation. It was really bad. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with my Becca. I'm, now I'm just going in with my Becca highlighter in Moonstone. Um, I don't know, It's that's the only bad thing about going on vacation sometimes is whenever I get back from vacation, I just get like so down because I love the beach so much. It's like such a letdown to come back to normal life, so. I don't know, it's the only bad thing. Does that ever happen to you guys? Like when you go on vacation, like do you get sad when you come back? And I know that a couple of you guys, um, I know that some of my other subscribers, some of you all also went to Gulf Shores on vacation the same time I was down there. Um, so I hope that you all had a really fun time while you were down there too, cause we had such a great time. Like, I'm sorry, I feel like every time I'm trying to talk to you guys, I'm trying to look for products. Um, but the weather was perfect. It was just such a great vacation. I feel like the past couple of beach vacations I've went on in the past couple of years, like, I don't know, it's been two years since I've been to the beach, but whenever I went then, it kind of rained a lot. And then the time before that I went, like, I just haven't had good weather on vacations until this one. So I think that was another reason why it was so hard for me to just, like, come back to normal life. Um just so hard when everything's so nice and I don't know like I've just been getting really bored with my job and I'm gonna switch like departments again at my work just because I don't know I just need something different maybe I need to like find a job somewhere else I don't know like I've debated going back to school recently but it's just like it's so much money to go back to school and so much time and I'm one of those people I can't like go to school full time and like work full time. I either have to just go to school and not work or like go to school part time and work part time. I'm just not like one of those people that can do both. But I mean like whenever I first went to school because I went to school for commercial photography like I just have an associate's degree in commercial photography. Um, I thought about going to school for dental hygiene, but like the hygiene school at the University of Louisville, like it's pretty expensive. I'm sure it's expensive to go anywhere to like dental school, but it was just going to be super expensive and I just didn't want to like take out, sorry, I need to get a Q-tip. I didn't want to take out a student loan, you know, to, I don't know, to go to school. And I had keys money, which is like a state, like if you get a really good like GPA in high school, the state would like pay you so much money to go to college. And it was like enough to pay for like my community college. So I just decided to go there first. And I don't know, I just, I'm so undecided about it. Like I think maybe I should go back to school for like dental hygiene and I know I could go back to like, you know, another school that's not as expensive to be like a dental assistant, but I don't know it's like one of those things it's like is it something I really want to do and I feel like it's something I need to figure out if it's something I really want to do because you know it's so much time and stuff if it's something that you then decided not to do then it seems like such a waste to like go back to school for it so I don't know just need to figure out something to do and I mean I could work at like a makeup counter or something like that but I just don't know if that's something I want to do just because I'm don't really like working a sales job, plus like the hours and you'd have to work holidays. It's just not really the best. So I don't really know what I want to do with my whole career or maybe I'll just stay working where I'm at and just, I mean, I'm gonna continue to keep doing YouTube, but I don't know. I feel like my brows are being weird today. I was using my L'Oreal uh, Prep and Shape Pro Kit. I think too, I feel like so out of, um, so out of practice with makeup, makeup because 
I didn't wear much makeup whenever I went on vacation and then whenever I got back from vacation I didn't really wear makeup very much it's like I got used to not wearing makeup and I just had so much going on with trying to paint over at my brother's house and stuff which I'm still not even finished with that so I don't know I've just got a lot of things going on right now so I apologize if like my upload schedule is going to be a little not regular just because of all the stuff I got going on like once I get moved into his house and everything things should start to get more normal but it's still a couple months away just using my or I just use my L'Oreal brow plumper stuff brow stylist brow plumper and then I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in for the eyeshadow part okay so for my eyeshadow I think I'm going to do something with the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette today. It's been a minute since I've used this. Um, I don't want to do anything like too much just because I'm trying to hurry up because we're going to have dinner before we go painting. Josh is actually cooking steaks right now. So his steaks are so good. Um, so first I'm just going to go in. I think I might do more of a fall look. But I think first I'm going to go in with Georgia. So you guys will have to let me know maybe where you work, like if it's like an actual career, like what you do and if you enjoy it or not. I don't know. Maybe you have to let me know if you are a dental hygienist and if you feel like it's worth it. Um, I don't know. It's just something I've always been interested in and I've always enjoyed going to the dentist to get my teeth cleaned. Like I've always enjoyed it. but. It just seems like so much schooling and stuff and money. I just don't know. I feel like I'm getting too old to go back to school. But I know I'm not. I mean, I'm only 33. It's not even that old, but. And then I'm gonna go in with white peach. I need to pluck my eyebrows so bad again. I feel like um, my camera is like in a weird angle from, cause I took it, whoops. I took it on vacation with me um, to take pictures and I feel like it's not in the right placement now. On the front part of my lid, I'm going to go in with the shade right here. I think it's called Bellini. I'm just going to pat this right here on the eyelid. But yeah, all the pictures that I took whenever I was there in Gulf Shores, I've been thinking about opening up a shop on Etsy and maybe selling my pictures like on canvases and maybe and I told you guys a while back too like my paintings and stuff that I do I've thought about selling those maybe on Etsy because I know some of you guys said that you would be interested in purchasing those so if that is something that you would be interested in like purchasing some of my like photography work on canvas let me know down in the comments and maybe I will open up an Etsy shop um, I don't know, it's just been something that I've been thinking about recently. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Summer Yum. I'm just gonna pat that out here on this last part of my eyelid. But yeah, photography, I've just loved like photography for a long time. I mean, when I first went to college and got my degree in commercial photography, like I didn't realize how much I loved photography until I started taking some classes. Like I went to school originally for graphic design. That's what I was going to go to school for. Um, but I took a photography class. I'm still using the summer yum. But I took a photography class because it was like a requirement for the graphic design program. And it was like I love photography so much. Like it just came really natural to me and I just really loved it. So then I decided to get a degree in commercial photography instead of advertising design. Um, but yeah, it's like ever since then, I've just loved photography so much. And um, I mean, I could get a job, you know, working at a portrait studio, which I've had those jobs. And I mean, I do like them, but it's just not the same as just doing your own photography work and like where I live there's not a whole lot of demand for like product photography work um sorry about that my phone just went off so I don't know it's kind of like one of those things I would need to move to get a good job doing that 
and I just don't know if I'm willing to relocate. Um, so I don't know. It's just kind of like at a point in my life where I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Like, I wish I could do YouTube full-time, but it just does not make me enough money to do it full-time. So, I don't know. I mean, I still got to pay my bills. I'm just going to go in with this e.l.f. crease brush and try to blend that out in the crease. But yeah, Josh has been wanting me to get like a Patreon account. And I didn't even know what Patreon was because I'd never heard of it before. But some of the YouTubers he watches, um, they have like Patreons. And basically it's like where, you know, you guys would send like donations for me. Like to continue on like with my channel to help like buy makeup and just different stuff for my channel. Um, but I just don't know how I feel about that. Like I don't... I don't know like he says that I should do it but I just I just don't know how I feel about it but yeah I mean it gets really hard sometimes financially to do YouTube especially when you're not like a big youtuber like a lot of the other youtubers out there you know that do a lot of sponsored stuff or they get paid a lot of money from companies to do YouTube I don't get that I mean I might get products sent to me for free sometimes to do reviews on but I don't I'm not getting paid by any company to make videos, so. Um, okay. I'm just gonna go in with Charmed, I'm sure, on this e.l.f. blending brush. And I'm just gonna blend just a little bit of this out here. Just to add a little bit more definition. I'm just going in with the Pencil E30 brush, just taking some of that down here. I'm just gonna go in with my e.l.f. black liquid liner. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of a wing. For my mascara, I'm just going in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And I'm just going to apply several coats of that. And then I'm going to come back and share with you guys what I'm going to use on my lips. And actually, for my lips, I'm not going to put anything on right now because we're getting ready to have dinner. Um, but I am going to put on my um, Rimmel Addiction Lip Liner with the Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer in Caramel. That's what I'm going to wear after dinner. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and end this because like I said, I'm getting ready to have dinner with Josh before we go out to Uptown Art. But I hope that you guys did enjoy this chatty get ready with me. Let me know down in the comments if you would be interested in my Etsy shop where I would sell like my pictures that I did on vacation and just whenever I take pictures of stuff or like paintings and stuff like that. Um, just let me know if you guys would be interested in that. And also let me know if any of you guys are like dental hygienists, if you do enjoy your job or whatever job you have, like let me know what you enjoy about it. Um, Cause like I said, I'm kind of like at a crossroads right now. I don't really know what I want to do career wise or you know, I'm just kind of on the fence about it. And also, any of you guys that went down to Gulf Shores, you'll have to let me know if you guys had a good time or not. Um, thank you so much to those of you guys who commented to me while I was down there and told me of, like, good places to eat and things like that. So, yeah, Josh and I, we had a really great time. And, um, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and end this. But I hope that you all have a great day, and I will see you all soon. Um, like I said, my upload schedule is probably going to be a little bit sporadic, so there might be a few weeks where I don't post here and there, but I'm going to try to be really regular about it as soon as I get moved into Micah's, but I will see you all in my next video, and I hope that you all have a great day. Bye-bye.